My name is Matthew and I'm a service engineer for Hyle. I started with Hyle in 2008, 10 years ago. I completed a five year modern apprenticeship which led me to the position I'm in now as a fully qualified engineer. The daily tasks of an engineer can be quite varied because we're responsible for a wide range of fleet here. It can be anything from strimmers, mowers, to fire appliances, company vehicles and snow cleaning equipment. So it's a lot more interesting because you're not working on the same types of vehicles every day. We've got a wide range of vehicles, from light vehicles, heavy vehicles, plan. We also do fabrication and welding. So you've got to think outside the box sometimes and make, make parts that might be obsolete that you can't buy on yourself. So you're making a lot of things yourself, you know, working on old stuff, new stuff. It's just, just a lot more interesting. A typical day might involve servicing one of the fire appliances, but things don't always go to plan. You might come in in the morning and find that during the night something's broken you have to get on the case and fix straight away. As well as being responsible for the maintenance and repair of vehicles, we also do other airfield tasks such as the runway friction surveys. This involves using specialist equipment to test the friction levels on the runway. This is really important to ensure good braking action for the aircraft. Yes, we work a varied shift pattern here. We can do an early shift, which is 6 till half 1, or a late shift, which is 1 till 9. We also do on-call, covered at the weekend, and during the winter we might work extra hours depending on the weather conditions as well. For me, Part of the job that I enjoy is people that I work with. But apart from that, it's the fact that we're working on such a wide range of equipment that it keeps it interesting and it's varied. And it's different from what you might work on in a normal, normal garage. I suppose if it's if, if you come in and something's broken and you're not sure quite what's what's wrong, you'll be finding that fault, problem solving, and then being able to repair that yourself. You know, you're not just coming in and changing oil filter, but if it's a you know a fault and you've got a fault find and problem find it, and then you manage to work it out yourself then you'd be proud that you've sort of done that you know. One of the challenges for me is the unsociable hours that you work. So we work a varied shift pattern and also during the winter when the weather affects operations might be required to work extra hours or during the night as well. From time to time might be required to work outside in cold or snowy conditions. There's two, in, two engineers based in Burness, also two head office engineers which means we're responsible for travelling around all the 11 Hyal airports travel around to the other airports to do the runway friction surveys or we could be assisting engineers there with, with big jobs or covering annual leave or sickness for example. I think three core skills that you need to have for a job like this is to be able to be resourceful, think outside the box and work on your own initiative.